Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Prices in the FIBA 23 market seem to be headed one way, and that is down. I want to take a look at why people are losing a lot of coins and take a look at these player prices that are dropping and why it is happening. I think there's three reasons why the market is dropping off as much as it is. It's kind of like a little equation. We're going to break that down in today's video and talk through why in the world Usman Dembele is down like 10,000 coins. Why in the world um, Benzema is down from 60, almost 70,000 coins, and, and now he's like 58 8k two days later a little bit less than that even prices are going down and there's a little bit of a reason why so i want to take a look at that and of course what could happen today on sunday we hopefully have three more mini released rule breakers cards dropping in packs today and of course a player spc that's kind of a question mark for me what other content could we have of course we have to talk about that hero spc that I think is one of those three factors of why the market's dropping off so much. So we're going to discuss that all today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at these player prices that are dropping because it is not really pretty out here on the market. Guys like Usman Dembele going from 66,000 coins now down to 55k. That was the story of most of the market yesterday, especially gold cards. Even your higher tier gold cards like Kevin De Bruyne, 124,000 coins. He started yesterday at 137k and has just been dropping off all day. Again, we talked about this in last night's video. If you stuck through and watched the whole video, you definitely heard a lot about this. I felt like this was coming because we hadn't had a drop off in the market in, in the last week or so, right? It was like a week and a half since the last drop off that we had. We were getting a lot of supply and we really, the content's not been that great. And you know, the new promo cards are super cheap. And that's some of that equation that I want to break down and talk with you guys today is just how everything right now is a little bit stagnant on the game and when the player prices are super cheap and when the market and content is really stagnant, a lot of stuff ends to dip off, right? Before we have some pretty insane content that's coming. So let's talk through it again. Why is this stuff going down? Well, we mentioned it, L content, right? The content that we have had recently is just okay. We've had some decent SBCs. We've had some decent cards released in packs, but like these Dodo, Geraldo Becker, Falcao was cool. The play of the month Messi was a pretty decent SBC. Again, not that big of an upgrade, but I think people are doing it because it's like one of the best and most exciting pieces of content that we've had in the past week or so during this Rule Breakers promo. The content's just has been very average, right? The S SBCs have been decent value, but they've been for mid-level players. The cards in packs are cool, right? You take a look at Rule Breakers cards right now that are in packs. Like the Ramos is a card that I want to try out. I, I want to try out the Kai Havertz card. But also when you take a look at these cards, it's like, man, they're so dirt cheap. There's not a ton of hype for them. And they must not be that exciting because they're so dirt cheap. Nobody in this promo team is over a million coins. And only a handful of players are over like 300k. Like Ramos, Tiago, Havertz, and Ribery. Four cards over uh, 300,000 coins. And, and now Kai Havertz is dipping underneath 300k. So... That's kind of why I think part of the gold cards are dropping, right? Here, here's an example for you. Why, if you've been using Hyunmin Sun for the past like two or three weeks, Hyunmin Sun is now like 55,000 coins, right? Or under 60K. 57,000 coins for an 89 rated Hyunmin Sun. Now, why would you use that when there's a brand new Emil Smith row card that is on the game who could play in that left mid position? Although I, of course, this pains me to say as a Spurs fan, you know, I would rather use Hyunmin Son. But when a new card like this comes out with similar stats, a dynamic image, four star, four star, a work rate change, and it's just a brand new card, wouldn't you want to try this out? I think that's what's going on, right? People are selling some of their gold cards they've used for a while and trying out these brand new promo cards because they are cheap. Now, also with that comes the supply. We've had a lot of supply on those gold cards since the beginning of the game. That's one thing that we see all year long is gold cards start at their peak and just start to trickle downwards, except for the SBC fighter cards. And supply in this week's promo has been no exception to the matter. 50K packs dropped on Friday. And then yesterday on Sunday, they finally dropped the 50K uh, Rare Players Pack Plus, which gives you an additional tradable pack inside of the pack that was already released. They also dropped the premium gold players pack plus. So we had talked about these previously being added to the code, knowing that they were going to drop some supply on the market. And I think this is another factor as to why player prices are continuing to go down uh, is that we have a ton of supply happening in the store. So L content and supply, that's the first two parts of the equation. And the third part of the equation is that upcoming hero pack SBC. People want to have coins ready 
to get that SBC when it does drop. And again, I, I really think people are preparing for that. I mean, we've already talked about investing in SBC fodder, right? Your SBC fodder cards are still at a, at a decently investable price because you know, there's been so much supply that has hit the market. Uh, I, th I think that's why a big reason why a lot of prices are dropping on the market too. In the meta cards, in the out of packs meta, you know, even some of these rule breakers from team number one, a couple of them have gone up in price, but others have just gone down in price. Take a look at Ed and Jekko, who a lot of people thought would rise out of packs because he was the, one of the more hyped cards in the first week of Rule Breakers. He's now under 140,000 coins and continuing to drop, especially as that hero pack draws near. And especially with the hero pack drawing near, a lot of people are starting to panic sell heroes. And I want to talk about this a little bit too is... Heroes are where I was making some money on the market yesterday, but these prices continue to drop because there's more and more panic. Every single day that goes by, people are continuing to get scared and to be uh, fearful of this hero SBC dropping on the market. I mean, if we take a look through some of these hero prices that I'm seeing right now, I mean, Yaya Toure last night was like 1.17. He is down. Marquisio is 600K and, and going under 600,000 coins. Diego Forlan is nearing 300K. Govu, Smolderek, like every single hero card that I look at, uh, even the ones that are above 87 rated that are not even going to be able to be packed from this SBC, like Morientes is 89 rated. He's not going to be in the 87 max hero pack. He's 138,000 coins continuing to drop. Joel Cole is down. I actually bought one of those tonight to try to trade with. I bought Robbie Keynes yesterday. This is, again, how I said I've been making coins. I bought Robbie Keynes really fast. There was some panic selling heading into tr to content. I bought two Robbie Keynes at 265, and I sold them at 285, literally like in two hours later, uh, because his price kind of rebounded up from that panic. I think you're going to see the same thing today on Sunday. You're going to see hero cards as people are, are, you know, today and tomorrow are like the top two most popular days for where this hero SBC pack could drop. And I think there's going to be even more panic today on the heroes as these, these guys' prices just continue to go down as people are getting ready for this big time SBC to drop. So I think that's kind of what's covering the market right now and kind of explaining why we're seeing these prices drop off as much as we are. It's the combination of L content, the players that are out, that the content that's been released are really cheap. People are changing out gold cards for promo cards to try it on their team. The supply is pretty big, and we've got this impending content that is making people not want to go spend coins on teams as much, maybe rock a little bit more with untradables, and the people that are wanting to invest right now are investing in SBC fodder. And I want to talk about fodder because it still looks halfway decent, and now with the bigger packs that were dropped yesterday, some of this higher tier fodder looks even more investable than it was early in the week. 88s, 25,000 coins. Take a look at Gold Donnarumma, right? 25,000 coins for him. You can see on Wednesday, or sorry, not Wednesday, Saturday, yesterday, he was like 28K, dropped down to 25, had a bit of a kickback, but of course, that's down from where he was, you know, on 30, 30,000 coins early morning Friday. Now this guy's down to 25,000 coins. So this higher tier fodder, albeit again, a little bit more of a gamble because it's up so much already. I think these cards are ones that you'll want to keep a watch on too. And if these drop any lower today on Sunday, if the icon pack does not drop today, and we, again, we think it's going to be more of tomorrow on Monday, but definitely keep a watch on these higher tier cards now as well, just because um, you know, they have a potential to rise as they are dropping with the supply. 85s are still looking decent. I think that, you know, if you can get under 9,000 coins, that's a solid price. I mean, again, seeing they were 12,000 last week, especially if we get that team of the week pack SBC again, um, these guys on bid, I think that's going to be your, your crucial um, way to get them for a little bit cheaper is to get them on bid. 84 is under 2k. Fantastic. 83 is a discard. You can't go wrong with that at all. So I think the SBC fodder market, it's kind of unchanged even with, and this is one thing that makes me maybe like SBC fodder investing a little bit less. If I'm being honest, is that we did have a lot of supply this weekend with the extra packs that were added to the store that maybe makes me like fodder just a little bit less. But again, you think about a hero pack that we are about to see dropped in this game. That's a lot, a lot of hype for a hero pack. There's going to be so many people that want to do it and get it done. So I do think that even though fodder is very invested in, I think fodder is still going to end up going higher in price because there's going to be so much demand for people to try to pack these big boy heroes. 
especially with so many new heroes this year in FIFA. So I still think fodder is investable. If you see prices drop down a little bit, get on those bids, buy those players like we talked about yesterday. A lot of potential there. One investment that I'm not a huge fan of this week, and you know we saw a couple weeks ago with Team of the Week number three, I'm not a huge fan of investing in Team of the Week cards this week because of the one thing that we talked about already in this video, supply. Remember Team of the Week 3, we had the UEFA marquee matchups on Tuesday that dropped their prices and like people ended up losing coins on Team of the Week cards like Rafael Liao, uh, like uh, Ben Yedder. That Team of the Week is the one that I'm talking about, right? It didn't go up that much. I'm feeling the same vibes with Team of the Week number 5. Now, a couple of these cards might still rise up a little bit out of packs, but everybody is thinking back to last week with Team of the Week 4 where we had insane rises on Cancelo, Tomori, Frimpong, Pedri. Like half of the team of the week rose very nicely out of packs. We didn't have UEFA marquee matchups on Tuesday of last week because it was an off week. We have it this week most likely with team of the week five getting supplied extra there up upcoming on Tuesday. We have a big hero pack this week, which could hurt the supply on these cards as well. Potentially, you know, if it's like two segments and they drop tradable packs in between those segments, like they did with the icon pack, that'll bring some extra supply in. And from what we've seen already, the 50K packs and the 50K pack plus that are in the store, I really don't like this team of the week. Uh, I, I feel like it's gonna take a lot of demand to push these cards up. With that being said, there are a couple of them that, that maybe still could rise a little bit. You know, Tony Cruz, Badella, Joe Gomez, Sani, Neymar, are probably some of your favorites from this team of the week. But especially with these cards already being up a bit, 71K for Badella, and on Friday night, he was 66k, uh, 65,000, 64,000 coins on Friday night. Uh, that was a really, really low time for these cards. I think so many people are wanting to invest in the team of the weeks. I am not a huge fan with the extra supply that we have upcoming this week. So that's just one word of warning I would put out there. Now, if you want it for your team, it's definitely not a terrible time to buy. And of course, you know, Neymar being in this team of the week, a lot of people want him. He's going to be a super rare card. But I would just say be very careful with the team of the week this week. I don't like the potential that it has for an out-of-packs rise like I did last week's team of the week with the supply that we have to worry about. So, you know, how am I making coins right now? I'm like, Nate, how can I make coins right now in this market when it's dying and, and price is just dropping as much as it is? Uh, the hero cards, right? Every day that goes by where the hero SBC is not dropped, if there is no hero SBC today, I think there is going to be some panic leading into 6 p.m. UK with content. But if that SBC does not drop, you're going to see the prices shoot back up a little bit again as people go out and play those weekly games as there is a lot of demand. So the same sort of trading fluctuation there. Yesterday on Saturday, I bought Nakata at 150, sold at 167. I bought two Keens, like I said, in the 260s. I bought two Al Oarians in the 230s, sold at 257. So just watch for the panic sells on these hero cards because the fluctuations are great. Be very careful with these promo cards. I lost coins on Smith Rowe. I made coins on Tiago. I made coins on Kai Havertz. I'm not really expecting to see Havertz. Uh, even though Kai Havertz did really, really well yesterday, and so did Tiago, those guys were some of the best risers from Friday into Saturday. I didn't really believe in Havertz. I thought he may not go up that much, but he ended up going up. Looks like he maybe could go up again today a little bit from Saturday into Sunday. One thing I will say, though, is we do have um, Sunday mornings bring us squad battle rewards, which should bring a little bit more supply to the market of these cards. I just wouldn't expect to see really, really big fluctuations on any of these cards, even though they've gotten a lot lower and their prices seem really, really cheap. Again, like we talked about, there's so much... Uh, so many like people that are just waiting for this big hero pack to drop. And then I think you'll see the market kind of unlocked again to another level. So maybe if I can snag a Ramos tonight at like 320 or lower, since he dropped off a lot from where he was yesterday, I would think about trying him out for a couple games in the club and then maybe trying to sell him for a short bit of profit. But be very careful with these rule breaker cards. Let's talk about today on Sunday. Um, a little bit more content-wise as well. The mini-release that we're expecting today, these were all cards that were leaked last week, um, or on Friday, I guess you could say, uh, was Davinson Sanchez, Marino, and Roald on. So another MLS player dropping today. Of course, that Marino card, a lot of people got excited about. And you know what this really feels like to me? It feels like Robert Tone 
2.0. It really is what it feels like. Robert Tony is one of those cards from Rule Breakers Team 1 that's actually gone down in price. He's like 41,000 coins after he was almost 50K uh, on Friday after content with people investing in him with the Avila card in, in Team 2. People are like, wow, this guy's going to go up. So he's down in price. Uh, but just remember how crazy his hype was last week. Remember when after uh, weekend league rewards from Sunday night into Monday, this card went from like 60,000 coins to 90K on Monday morning in a crazy, crazy couple hours of hype. I don't believe that's going to happen again this week with Marino, but it almost feels like uh, Marino is like the Robert Tony 2.0. So this card today, the leak looked really, really good for him. So watch out for this guy. He's going to be pretty hyped. And then Davidson Sanchez is just, you know, a meta prem center back. We have so many prem center backs already at this stage of the year, which is kind of crazy to have that already. But we'll see what upgrade they give to Dominson and what kind of pace that he has. Uh, but that'll be another interesting card that people might want to put in their team. So that'll be an interesting one today from an impacts content perspective. Now, the other leak that we have is for a dynamic duo, which like I said, and like you guys probably know, Dynamic duos have been dropping on Tuesdays, right? Think about the Rodrigo. Think about the Jack Harrison SBC, that stuff. Um, you know, we have this Arnautovic and Posh. So some Serie A hype seems to be forming, right? We had the Dodo right back. We have this Dynamic duo. Seems like some Serie A hype is starting to form. So definitely watch out for your Serie A heroes and other Serie A special cards because um, maybe EA is kind of going away from La Liga and starting to push a little bit more towards Serie A. That's something to think about. I just don't know if these are today, but I feel like we get some sort of player SBC on Sunday, like every single week. I think last week on Sunday we had Alex Tellez, right? Um, I believe so. So maybe there'll be another leak today. Um, you know, there's some fake leak about Kimmich. I haven't heard anything like that. And Foot Sheriff says that he has nothing about Kimmich. So, um, you know, for today's content on Sunday, I'm expecting mini release, some sort of SBC. I doubt they leave us hanging uh, in, in that regard. But, you know, we had Dodo yesterday. I don't know if we get the, the hero pack today. I really don't. I feel like that's more of a Monday type pack. Like, I think EA is going to follow that schedule, but I feel like there's this much of a chance that it could be today on Sunday, so we'll probably check in and around content time and see if that happens. But I feel like it's a very, very slim chance. It might just be another pretty quiet day today on FIFA, waiting for whenever that hero pack is going to drop and when that craziness is going to happen. So, again, really quickly with the Dodo SBC from yesterday, three-star, three-star, high, medium, five-foot-five. Five. It is a really cheap SBC, but, again, it's kind of like a mid-card a little bit difficult to link, but not like really, really hard to link. So, you know, if that fits your team and you're happy with it, then GG, um, definitely an SPC you might be able to craft. Now, where I'm looking at on the market mostly is a lot of out of packs cards and a lot of icons and heroes. Like I mentioned, if I'm trying to make any coins in a down market like we are in, those are the types of cards that I want to be trading with because they are the most rare. So when you see the big 10 like 15 20 percent drop offs on some of these cards and you're like nate wow look at the price of you know x hero card or even, even like nakata who i sold at 167k earlier today footbin has him right now at 150,000 coins flat like at 150k with how rare he looks back up to 170 i would i would think about buying that card because i think he can jump back up to that price govu who i saw at like i think 360 or 370 yesterday Footpin has them right now at 340, right? So I do think there could be some more panic on these cards today, which again, makes me be a little bit leery and, and worry a little bit about a couple of these cards and how much they could fluctuate before content today. But if I was just trying to trade with anything on the game right now, that's where I'd be looking. And I'd be looking for those bigger price drops, players that are just continually going lower and lower that you're like, man, this guy's dropped down so many coins from where he was earlier in the week, especially with a hero pack coming that's something to watch out for. Now, I think the hero card prices will react very differently later on this week, and we'll talk about that in probably the video tomorrow, but definitely keep an eye out for these hero cards to rebound big time after the hero pack is released, except, or, you know, of course, that's for the meta ones, except for the ones that are like the low tier, you know, really low rated ones that, of course, everybody's going to be packing from the hero pack those are probably not going to rebound too well. But that's kind of what's going on with the market right now. Again, it sucks to lose coins. I completely understand. If you're losing coins in your teams, 
I know how it feels. A lot of player prices just continue to drop and continue to go down. And I don't think that it's going to rebound that soon. I think it's just going to keep going down even further today as it just feels like this market is in one big slide of a free fall right now at the moment. So hopefully that icon pack or the hero pack uh, can start to spice that up. But I really don't think that's going to be today. We maybe have one more day of pain before tomorrow on Monday, it gets pretty crazy. So we'll just have to see. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.